everyone, this is Keith. We've had four days, four solid days of rain. It's so depressing. Uh, but the sun is finally out this morning. It was a beautiful sunrise. And I'm headed out of the city. I'm going to go explore some cemeteries way out in the middle of nowhere. Come along with me. I've ever seen the water quite this high. Uh, four days of rain has really increased the water levels. Look at this. I've made my way to Polk County, Tennessee. The cemetery I'm looking for is listed on the USGS maps as the Price Cemetery, but the local people know it either as Rock Creek Cemetery or Cloud Cemetery. Now this cemetery holds important significance to me because my father grew up close to the cemetery, and also there is a Revolutionary War soldier buried within the cemetery. Okay, the cemetery I'm looking for is up there. Here, let me show you what I'm facing. Now, I did find an old logging road, but even the logging road is completely forested over. So there's no way to drive and there's no place to park that's anywhere closer than where I am now. So I'm just going to scramble up this hillside. The cemetery is supposed to be right on top of this mountain. All right, this is some definite backwoods hiking. Now, one of the reasons I like exploring cemeteries in the wintertime, number one, the visibility is much better. You can kind of scramble through a forested section like this, and uh, it's much easier to see, and you don't have as much foliage to get in your way. And number two, uh, although snakes are still a potential hazard here, um, in the wintertime, it's much, much less likely that I'm going to run into a snake. Uh, copperheads are very, very prevalent in this area, so I'm making sure that I'm keeping my eyes open uh, to try to make sure that I don't oh, step on a copperhead. All right, guys, cemetery should be just ahead. Well, I found the logging road. This is the only road up here, and you can see it is completely obstructed with fallen trees. So when I'm hunting cemeteries, I'm always looking for key indicators that tell me that I'm getting close to where the cemetery is. Uh, now, if you look around, this is largely just a forested area. There's no indication to the untrained eye 
that were anywhere close to a cemetery. However, if you look down at the ground, and I hope the camera will pick this up, you will see that we move from leaf cover to a ground cover all of a sudden. Ground covers are planted in cemeteries. They were often planted uh, just to keep grass at bay and to help with the maintenance. When I see ground cover and I know I'm in the vicinity of a cemetery, then it tells me that I'm getting very close. Something else that I always look for, <clears throat> and I know the camera won't pick this up very well, but I always look for indentations in the ground, sunken areas. Uh, that is probably a grave site which has collapsed over the years. Um, a lot of these burials took place in pine boxes, um, and so that, that wood decays and this, the grave site eventually uh, sinks in. All right, success, look here. We have found uh, the cemetery, top of the hill. I hope you can see some of the tombstones right here. Here we go. Okay, this is what we're looking for. Okay, I found about a dozen grave markers, uh, including this one, which is a basic field stone, and the grave site is sunken in. Um, this is a very overgrown and neglected cemetery. The work I do in documenting and researching cemeteries is very important. Uh, this cemetery probably hasn't been maintained in a couple of years. The, the family members are maintaining this and they're doing a pretty good job. But imagine if those family members pass away and then their children forget about this cemetery. This could be completely overgrown in really just a few years. So it's really important to properly document, properly map. I always bring a GPS with me and I map it on Google Earth. Um, Check out the website, thecemeterydetective.com. Also, in the link in the description below, I'm going to include a googleearth.kmz file. It'll allow you to download the tracks of this cemetery and also some pictures and video. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I'll see you guys next time.